I just see here a violation of the Liskov substitution principle, probably. You have two methods here, and you have a, a base protocol with a function cancel. So let's say, as a client, I invoke both methods, and I call cancel. Which one will be canceled? <laughs> <laughs> so this interface allows us to call two methods, but we have only one cancel method. And it's undefined behavior which one's going to be canceled. Maybe both, or maybe the last one, or maybe the first one. What this contract is saying that you could call both at any time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not very extendable. So you, you could break this down into two protocols. Add, resolve, or create. And another one, update. Now you can return a type that is cancelable. Yes, the task. If you return a cancelable, you don't force your service to be stateful. Now it can be stateless because it's up to the client to cancel the task and hold a reference to it as needed. Right. So you don't even need this shared base interface, for example. Now you have compiled time guarantees that you won't have undefined behavior at runtime. Right. Because you return an instance that holds the state for that specific request. So as you say, you can even call this a task, right? So you return a task for a specific request. Right. Thus, you can call this method multiple times and handle each request independently, following the interface aggregation principle and the single responsibility principle.